You should not train your hair to go longer in between washes. Washing your hair is not bad and it is not a good thing to let your hair get so oily that it literally looks like a frying pan. So if you have oily hair, then you need to watch this video. I'm gonna be breaking down how to wash oily hair. I'm gonna be telling you guys all of my hair washing hacks specifically for oily hair. The thing with oily hair is that the majority of the hair rules that you see on the internet do not apply to you if you have oily hair. It doesn't apply to everything. I have oily hair and I have done everything from washing it twice a day to going a week and a half in between washes, I have perfected the art of washing oily hair and I'm gonna tell you guys all of my hair secrets for oily hair. These are specifically for when you're washing your hair. First off, right before you get in the shower, you want to brush out your hair to make sure that there are no tangles or knots, but there is a key thing that you should be doing at this step, and that is using a wooden hairbrush. So wooden hairbrushes are like a godsend for oily hair because the bristles actually help to evenly disperse the oils throughout your hair. It's going to make shampoo the roots of your hair and scalp a lot easier because those oils are not just going to be concentrated at the top of your head they're going to be evenly dispersed throughout the length of your hair so make sure that you use a wooden hairbrush now my next hack is for when you want to oil your hair so the thing with oily hair is obviously in the name i mean there's already oils on it like your hair is prone to getting oily so it sounds counterintuitive for why you would want to oil your hair but i actually feel like oiling oily hair is an amazing trick especially right before you are about to wash your hair first of all you want to use a light oil you don't want to use anything like castor oil for your roots or anything like coconut oil i like to use things like almond oil fable and main has this amazing pre-wash oil that is really lightweight also argan oil is another great option or jojoba oil and basically what you want to do is take some in the palm of your hand and just massage your scalp because if you guys think about like oil cleansing when you're oil cleansing on your face those oils are going to help to draw out like the dirt and just any sort of buildup that might be on your skin and obviously it's not going to do the same exact thing to your hair because your hair is different from your skin but it can help to lift any like product buildup or just any like dead skin or flakes that you have on your scalp before you're about to shampoo I only recommend doing this right before you're about about to wash your hair because obviously if you have oily hair you already know that putting oils on top that's just gonna make your hair look even more oily so only do this right before you're about to wash your hair the next hack slash tip is when you get in the shower and you're about to wash your hair you want to drench your hair in water and I don't just mean to like stand under the water for like a minute and then start shampooing I mean move your hair around make sure that every part of your scalp and your roots are wet from the water so you may have to like I don't know like move your hair to the side or flip your hair forward but you want to make sure that everywhere on your scalp is drenched another key component here to washing oily hair those with oily hair should not be washing their hair with cold water instead you can wash your hair with I don't want to say warm water because people may take it to the extreme like I'm not saying to wash your hair with scalding hot water but try to wash your hair with temperature that's comfortable for you that's on the warmer side so I guess we can call it lukewarm that's like the temperature that you should be washing your hair with that warm water is gonna help to lift the oil and the buildup off of your scalp okay my next hack and this may surprise some of you use a sulfate free clarifying shampoo when you wash your hair and you want to make sure that this shampoo is like clear like literally transparent it can have a tint of some sort of color but you want it to be mainly transparent because those shampoos tend to be a lot better at um, removing like excess buildup and those are just great shampoos for oily hair the reason why you want sulfate free so I feel like it 
kind of sounds counterintuitive because if you think about like really oily hair, sulfates may be great for you because you have like a ton of oil on your scalp and sulfates may be the only thing that can get rid of all of that, which of course is good, but you only wanna use them occasionally when you have a lot, a lot, a lot of buildup because what can happen is the sulfates can actually really dry out your scalp and then make your scalp produce even more oil. Like in the moment you think you're doing a good thing for your scalp, but a day later your hair is actually gonna be significantly more oily than it would have been if you had used a sulfate-free shampoo. So some of my favorite sulfate-free clarifying shampoos, OGX Extra Strength Tea Tree Mint Shampoo, Moroccan Oils Clarifying Shampoo that's sulfate-free, The Ways Clarifying Shampoo that's also sulfate-free. Basically any shampoo that's sulfate-free and that's clear. By the way, if you guys see the scratch on the side of my face, my son scratched my face. It's like really hard to clip his nails because he just like does not sit still, but I did it. But yeah, that's what this scratch is. Anyway, moving on. The next little hack is all about how much shampoo you should be using if you have oily hair. A lot of people will say only use like a really, really small, like a dime size amount of shampoo on your hair. That's it, that's all. If you have a lot of oily hair, you know that that is not going to do anything and that can actually be harmful. I only say harmful because if your scalp has too much buildup of oils, products, that can make your hair shed prematurely. I feel like I actually use kind of a lot of shampoo compared to what I see from other people online, but that is really the only way that I can cleanse my entire head of hair. So I need more than a dime size amount of shampoo. So when you're figuring out how much shampoo you should be using, not only should you be considering like how much hair you have and how thick your hair is, but also just how oily is your hair? Is your hair super, super oily? In that case, you may want to start out with like a quarter size and then shampoo. And then as you're shampooing, if you feel like you're not getting all of your scalp, then you can just add a little bit more shampoo until you feel like you have thoroughly shampooed all of your scalp. Obviously you don't want to use too much shampoo, you don't want to waste the shampoo, you don't want to dry out your scalp, but don't be afraid to use more than what is recommended on the bottle because everyone's hair is different. The objective is obviously to clean your hair and if you have oily hair, you know that that is not going to happen if you use like a little tiny penny size amount of shampoo. It's, it's not going to happen. So use your discretion for how much shampoo you should be using. So the next tip that I have for you guys with oily hair, I feel like I talk about this in a lot of my videos, so I'm not going to go too in depth here, but this is just to, of course, as I always say, don't apply shampoo directly to your scalp. Apply the shampoo in the palms of your hand and then make sure the palms of your hand are really, really wet. Lather the shampoo thoroughly within your hands, maybe for like 30 seconds, and then go in and shampoo only your roots. I think with shampoo, just in addition to making sure that you're using the right amount for your hair, you also want to make sure that you have enough water because if you're not using enough water, water mixed in with the shampoo like on the palms of your hand or on your hair itself then the shampoo is not going to get the proper lather and therefore it's not going to fully move around on your roots and scalp so it may just be concentrated in one area and totally neglect another whereas if you add more water as you're lathering it within your hands or even just as you're shampooing that shampoo is going to be able to fully make its way across your hair also, I know that there's like a lot of people that say to shampoo twice, which I actually think is a really good idea. Another thing that you can do if you have really oily hair is split your hair into two sections and shampoo one side first, like focus both of your hands on one side first, rinse, and then do the other side. Basically what that's going to do is just allow you to be more precise with your shampooing because the thing with oily hair is if you miss even one spot, then that is just gonna ruin your wash day and like the next day your hair is gonna be oily again. So that's like a really good way to just make sure that you're shampooing all of your hair. Another really great way is to literally, as I said, shampoo once, rinse, and then shampoo again, and then rinse. But I think for me, I really like sort of like a blended method of the two. So basically I'll just start off shampooing and then I will just like periodically add more water. And in doing so, it kind of like rinses off the shampoo. Then I just get a tiny bit more shampoo and I just like continue to shampoo in areas where I feel like I didn't get enough shampoo when I first shampooed and then I'll rinse off a little bit more and then I'll just continue to lather. So it's kind of like a 
a mixture of the two. But basically, I think with oily hair, you just don't wanna only shampoo once. You wanna make sure to thoroughly shampoo, whether that means shampooing your hair in sections or whether that means shampooing like two full shampoo sessions twice in a row. And then still, as I was saying about the temperature to wash your hair, when you're shampooing, you wanna make sure that as you're rinsing it out, you're using lukewarm water or a warm temperature that's comfortable. Stay away from scalding hot water, but also stay away from cold water because you want the properties of the shampoo and just like any oils that might be on your hair or anything like that to be rinsed off. I've said this in one of my previous videos, but think about when you're washing dishes. If you're using really cold water, then the oils and like the food buildup and stuff, it's just gonna be harder to get off. Whereas if you use warm water, then it's gonna be a lot easier to get those foods and oils and stuff off the plate. So it's the same way with your hair. Um, that's why if you have really oily hair, it is a good idea to rinse with lukewarm water. Please tell me that this piece of hair has not been sticking up this whole video. Another really good tip if you have oily hair, and I'm being a hypocrite just based on what I'm saying, is to not touch your hair or just try not to touch your hair as much as possible. That's hard for me because I feel like it's almost like a habit. I don't know. It's just it. Sometimes I do it without even thinking, but if you do that, your hair is gonna get oily faster because the oils that are on your hands are going to transfer to your hair. And then of course, that's just gonna make it get oily faster. So just a little trick. I mean, this isn't going to totally transform your oily hair, but when you're in the shower, try when you're rinsing out the products to not touch your hair as much as possible. Uh, because obviously when your hair is clean after you've shampooed it, you don't wanna get any more product like from, I don't know, your body wash or a body scrub or even conditioner, you don't wanna get any of that on the roots. So when you're rinsing out the shampoo, you can like move your head around as the water is running down so that you can get every crevice of your head as opposed to like using your hands to move your hair. Does that make sense? Now that we're on the topic of like rinsing your hair, I also highly recommend that if you have oily hair, you use one of those um, detachable shower heads or like a handheld shower head Head because basically that is going to allow, I don't know, the pressure, fuck, I almost fell off the chair. The pressure from the shower head, when it's close up to your head, it's just gonna be a lot easier for the water to rinse all of the products and oil out of your hair. This is another thing I feel like I talk about in so many of my videos, but this is just to make sure that you are conditioning only the ends of your hair and do not condition your roots. If you have oily hair, your roots do not need to be conditioned at all. Now for me, this can be kind of tricky sometimes because although it sounds really easy, sometimes when I'm applying conditioner, I just have a tendency to like, without even thinking about it, just like bring the conditioner, just run my hands through my hair and I kind of just go like this, like until I reach my roots and then I'm like, oh crap, I'm not supposed to be conditioning the roots. So a little trick that I discovered, I don't know, I'm probably not the only person that does this, is to use a claw clip in the shower and like put the claw clip right at the mid length of your hair and only condition from the claw clip down. Basically what it does is it just stops you from accidentally conditioning too much of your hair. It's kind of like a silly hack. Um, I feel like for a lot of people it won't be necessary, but if you're someone like me who daydreams a lot and tends to kind of um, uh, forget, or if you just like have a hard time discerning, okay, where is like too far up on my hair, then the claw clip is going to be a really great way to make sure that you only condition this part of your hair. The very last tip that I have for you guys, if you have oily hair, is just the frequency that you should be washing your hair. Of course, it's going to be different based on you and just like your own hair. Maybe you have like incredibly oily hair and you have to wash it every day. But I feel like generally two to three times a week is a good number of times to wash your hair in a week if you have oily hair. Those are all of my tips and tricks for washing oily hair. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other tips in the comments below. I probably forgot some. This was kind of like a last minute video that I wanted to film. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I'll talk to you guys next time.